那么接下来，让我们掌声有请著名科幻作家、二零二三成都世界科幻大会荣誉主席、荣誉主宾罗伯特·詹姆斯·索耶先生上台，为我们开启科幻大会。Welcome, Mr. Sawyer. Apart from speech, you have another mission. Do you remember that? Dear friends, good evening. This is my fourth visit to the wonderful city of Chengdu. The first time I was here, 16 years ago, a few fans were whispering about the dream. Of one day bringing the World Science Fiction Convention to China, many thought it could never happen. But look at us now. <laughs> On that first trip to Chengdu in 2007, I was mobbed like a rock star. I've been to conventions all over the world. But this is the only place that's ever happened. The fans here are so passionate, and I knew at once that they would make all their dreams for the future come true. And they have. I am so, so thrilled to be here, meeting up again with old friends, making new ones from both the local science fiction community in Chengdu, from the rest of China. And from across the world, the first World Science Fiction Convention was held in 1939, but the name simply referred to its proximity to the 1939 New York World's Fair. But dedicated fans from outside the U.S. took the name seriously and did the hard work to make the WorldCon a truly International event with past conventions, not just in the United States or Canada, but also Europe, Oceania, Japan, and now beginning today for the first time ever in China. In 1973, the World Science Fiction Convention, the WorldCon, was in Toronto, where I live. As a 13-year-old SF fan, I was aware of it, but I simply couldn't afford to attend. It blows my mind that 50 years later, I'm attending this year's WorldCon in Chengdu as a guest of honor, and I'm sure. Thank you. And I am sure there are young people here today attending their first WorldCon. Who will have their lives changed forever by the seeds that will be planted in their hearts over the next five days? As we begin Chengdu WorldCon, here's a short look back at the 80-year history of the World Science Fiction Convention. Enjoy. 